How do you trade a poor man's covered call? What are the advantages of a poor man's covered call versus a normal covered call? Because you asked for it today, I'm going to answer those questions using trades we've done over the past month. This video is all about poor man's covered calls, when to use them, and why we love them. Hello everyone and welcome back to my life of learning. My name is Randy Perez. Please know that I am not a financial advisor. This video is meant to be only for educational purposes. It's not meant to be investment advice of any kind. I am, however, a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. Before we get started, I just ask one thing of you. Please hit the like button to support this channel. I'm about to give you some really awesome information that I know you're going to find great value in. So if you appreciate the kind of material I provide for you on this channel, please support it by hitting the thumbs up like button. Thank you for that. Let's get started. First and briefly, what is a poor man's covered call? A poor man's covered call is made up of two options. First, you buy an in the money call option with a longer term expiration date, and then you sell an out of the money call option at a nearer term expiration date. Let me show an example of a poor man's covered call that we're in right now. It's actually a position that we entered just eight days ago. Here you see a leap poor man's covered call position we're in right now in Baidu, ticker symbol BIDU. As you can see in the white rectangle, at the very bottom line, we bought the Baidu January 2023 $80 call option. If you look at the far right column, you see that it costs us $114.26 per share. To complete this poor man's covered call position, we then sold, as you can see at the top line in the white rectangle, we sold to open the June 18th of this year $210 call option. As you see in the far right column, we sold it for $2.87 per share. If you look at the column labeled Unrealized P&L, you see that we're already up in this position on both option legs. That June 18th near-term call option has already gone down in value by $120. So we have an unrealized gain in that position. Just below that, you see that we're up in the long leap call option, $338 since we did this trade eight days ago. But this actually isn't the entire story about this position. This position was actually started back in March when we began selling put options in Baidu. As you can see here on March 12th, with Baidu trading around $260 per share, we sold to open the third Friday of April, $220 put option for $5.15 per share. And we felt pretty good about this trade because as you can see on the daily chart, Baidu had broke out above the green 50 moving average, which then seemed to be holding us support for it. Unfortunately, it didn't stay that way. A couple weeks later, Baidu crashed down to $170 per share. Now this is the point where if we had been using a bunch of margin, we probably would have been really nervous and forced to close this position out. But since we had the cash to cover this position and there was still time value left in the option that we had sold, we decided to wait to see what would happen until expiration. On April 16th, option expiration day, we rolled the 220 put option that was expiring down by $10 to the $210 strike price while also rolling it out to the third Friday of May. Even though we rolled this short put option strike price down by $10, we're still able to pocket $2 per share. We believe that if Baidu did continue lower, it'd probably find some support around that red 200 moving average. Well, Baidu did continue moving lower, so on May 19th, eight days ago, we bought to close that 210 put option and switch its position over to a poor man's covered call. Well, why did we do that? There are several reasons. First, by switching to a poor man's covered call, we have capped our maximum potential loss. Remember that the January 2023 80 call option costs us just over $114 per share. That's the most we can lose on this position. We could have kept rolling that short put option out and tried to roll it down, but by switching to a leap in a poor man's covered call position, we can benefit if the stock moves back up we have also capped the amount that we could potentially lose in this position. And that amount is a lower amount than if we we're doing a traditional covered call. There was really no reason to let the stock be put into our account or assigned to us. Baidu does not pay a dividend, so we're not missing out on any kind of dividend. But if you choose to do a poor man's covered call, what strike price should you buy it at? Let me talk you through why I chose the $80 strike price. I know there's a lot going on here on the screen, so let me just talk you through it. Notice up top that these are the option chains for Baidu. I've chosen the expiration date of the leap call option that we bought, which is January 20th of 2023. Just below that date, notice that there are 603 days until this option expires. In the yellow rectangle, you see the information on the $80 call option that we bought. First of all, let's start at the far left side of the rectangle. Under option open interest, you see that there are 154 open contracts in this call option. This is one reason why I picked the $80 strike price. As you can see, this was the highest number of open interest for the options that are deep in the money. Now, I could have bought a long-term or leap option that did not cost us as much, 
but the next column over will show you why I chose to buy this $80 leap option. The next column is labeled Delta. Delta is an estimate of how much this options value will go up or down for every dollar that Baidu goes up or goes down. So you see that this $80 option we bought will go up or down by about 96.8 cents per share when Baidu goes up or goes down. It's not a penny for penny move, but it sure is close. You see, I'm long-term bullish on Baidu. In my other videos that I've made on trading in poor men's covered calls and buying leap options, I mentioned that when I buy a leap call option, I want to have at least an 80 delta in that option. That means that for every dollar that the underlying stock goes up or down, our option of Baidu should also go up or down by about 80 cents per share. If you look at the 140 leap call option and look over at the red column labeled Delta, you see that if I had bought that option, it would have moved about 81.6 cents for every dollar that Baidu went up or down. However, I didn't want to have to worry about the delta of the near-term call option I sold being higher than the delta of the long-term option that I bought. You see, if Baidu does start going back up, I want to make sure that the value of our long $80 January of 2023 call option is going up faster than the value of that short near-term call option that we sold. Another reason why I chose this strike price is found in the far right column labeled Theta. Theta is approximately how much this option will lose in value every day per share. As you can see, Theta on the option we bought is less than a penny per day. Let's compare these Greeks to the option that we sold. Now you're looking at next month's June 18 option chains. In the yellow rectangle, you see the short call portion of our position. We sold the 210 strike price call option against that long leap call that I just talked you through. Notice a couple of Greeks here. First, in the green rectangle, in the theta column, notice that this option we sold loses almost 10 cents per share per day. So theta of this short option that we sold is over 10 times higher than the one that we bought. In other words, this option will lose time value over 10 times faster than the option that we bought. Also notice over in the red column under Delta that this option will only increase in value by 18.6 cents per share for every dollar that Baidu goes up. Remember that the Delta of the leap call that we own is 96.8 cents per share. That Delta is a lot higher for the option that we bought than for the one that we sold. This is the recipe of a cash flow machine. Well, what is our plan? We plan to turn this into another one of our little ATM machines that produce cash for us every month. By the way, if that was really useful what I just shared with you, then I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you so much for doing that. So what is our plan for this Baidu position? We plan to continue selling near short-term call options against the long leap option that we bought. As expiration nears on the June 18th 210 call option that we sold here 22 days ago, that option's time value premium will continue to deteriorate and we'll look to roll that short call option out to July. Let's just say that we're able to generate monthly cash flow at the same rate that we sold this June 18th 210 call option. What kind of return will we get this year? When we sold that option, as you can see on the far right under average price, we were paid $2.87 per share. At that time, there were 30 days until expiration. So if we were able to get about that same amount of money every single month for 12 months, we will collect $34.44 per share. If you divide that by the cost of the long-term leap option that we bought, we'll be receiving a 30.1% annualized cash on cash return on the $114 long leap call option that we bought. I did not figure all the factors for this example, such as the loss that we took when we closed out that put option, nor am I calculating any potential for us to get a higher premium than $2.87 per share, which is what we got last month. I do expect Baidu to go up in price. However, there's no guarantee of that. But if Baidu does continue to go up in price and we continue to sell that 210 short call option strike price, then the amount that we will get for that short option will be a lot more than $2.87 per share. But what are the benefits of doing a poor man's covered call versus a traditional covered call in which you own the stock outright instead of an in-the-money longer-term call option? Here are the reasons why I prefer to do a poor man's covered call on non-dividend paying stocks instead of doing a traditional covered call. First, let me be really clear about this. If a stock that we are trading in is a dividend paying stock, we would generally prefer to let that stock be assigned to us so we can begin collecting those dividends while we sell covered calls against it. However, if it is a non-dividend paying stock like Baidu, then in my opinion, there's no benefit at all to owning the stock outright. You're better off buying a deep in the money leap call option like we have done here. Why? By owning this deep in the money leap call option, we're receiving all the rewards that we receive as owner of the outright stock 
However, we have capped our potential losses. The amount of money we pay for that leap call option is the most that we can lose. And it's actually a lot less than if we had bought the stock outright. But even more than that, let's say that if Baidu continues to decline, if we own the stock outright, we'll obviously lose penny for penny as the stock declines. Well, what about this long-term leap call option that we own? How much will we lose if the stock continues to decline? Let's go back to our option chains for the leap option expiration date that we bought, which was January of 2023. Let's talk through this. The question is, what would happen to the value of our long call option if Baidu continues to decline? Right now, the $80 call option, as you can see in the yellow rectangle, will lose about 96.8 cents for every dollar that Baidu goes down. But notice what happens as the strike price gets closer to the stock's actual price. Baidu is currently trading at just over $194 per share. Now the option we bought is $114 in the money. What about the call option at the $180 strike price? That option is only $14 in the money. Notice in the column labeled Delta that the $180 call option will only go down in value $0.65.9 cents for every dollar that Baidu declines. But let's go a step further. Let's say that Baidu actually goes under our long call option strike price. Let's look at the 210 lead call option in the purple rectangle. Notice that even though this option is no longer in the money, it's actually $16 out of the money, but it still has not lost all of its value. In fact, it's still trading for, if you look over in the far left column under bid and ask, it's still trading for between $33 and $34 per share. Going back to the red column under Delta, if Baidu did continue to decline, this 210 leap call option will only lose 54.1 cents for every dollar that Baidu declines. As you can see, you're actually better off owning a deep in the money leap call option than owning the stock outright if Baidu continues to decline. And if Baidu does go up in price, we'll also reap those benefits by 97 cents for every dollar that Baidu goes up. This is why, in my opinion, there's no reason to ever own a non-dividend paying stock outright. In buying a deep in the money, long-term or leap call option, you're able to receive all the rewards if the stock price goes up and you have very little time value deterioration of that option and you have a built-in free of charge protection for your position if the stock goes down in price. In addition to that, we're able to confidently sell short near-term call options to generate cash flow and decrease our cost basis because the long option that we bought goes up in value almost penny for penny as the underlying stock goes up in value. These are the reasons why I love trading LEAP and poor man covered call positions so much. If you'd like to receive alerts as soon as we make trades similar to the trades I talked about in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. If you'd like more information on how LEAP options work and how you can use them in your trading portfolio to generate awesome cash flow in return, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled LEAP Options. What are they and how do they work? Until next time, Happy investing and we'll see you again soon.